Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Douche! Smile to Jannah. <laughs> okay, so I saw this video on Twitter which got a quarter million views in five hours and it showed a video being projected onto the Houses of Parliament last night. And actually I was in two minds because you can do a lot with a computer nowadays and you know editing, it's mad. I to love our country, if they don't want to fight for our country they can. Uh, I'll never change on that, no. I checked on the news, no mainstream media had covered it. However, there were other news outlets that had covered it. And then after doing a bit of digging, I realized it had actually happened last night. I don't know about you, but if someone does something like this, isn't it a big deal? Wouldn't the news outlets be covering it left, right and centre that somebody was able to project a video on the Houses of Parliament and everyone could see it and it was crazy. But there was none of that. I checked on Twitter, it wasn't trending. But then I went onto their page, the people who had done it, led by donkeys, which is a, <laughs> an apt name considering the leaders that we have nowadays around the globe. And yeah, it, it, it was actually a real thing and they are an organization. And then I realized, you know what, the mainstream media is not going to promote this because let's face it, it's going to cause chaos. Loads of people are going to start doing it. Now for me, this was a big thing because I don't know, being a Muslim and an Asian, you know, people are quite scared about standing out from the crowd. The thing is, even if we do speak out on politics, we get put down saying, be grateful. And obviously there's many cases of being people taken to Guantanamo Bay and extra questioning when under Schedule 7 when you land in the airport. Like, it's crazy, isn't it? When I went on, the, on, on their page, they've been doing this for donkeys of years. I mean most famously they were talking about Brexit and putting up all of these creative posters and billboards and stuff because their way of, what's the word, uh, public service announcements I guess is quite unique yeah because billboards are quite expensive so they do billboards, they, they do other creative things like you guys can see you know getting stuff done on grass and the bird's eye view shots and I don't know what these guys have been doing but they're amazing, amazing people that I can't believe I haven't known about these people and I guess because a couple of years ago I wasn't really into politics, didn't really care but nowadays being a Muslim you have to know what's going on, you have to be you know news savvy and being you know aware of current events. Okay so I just wanted to give you guys a background of, of what happened and blah blah blah. So I'm going to play the video that was projected onto the Houses of Parliament last night. Prime Minister, we're happy to hear that you've recovered from COVID-19. For doctors and nurses there's no greater feeling than watching a patient be discharged and heading home. The NHS saved your life. Now we need you to save ours. This week we've seen healthcare assistance nurses and doctors in the NHS losing their lives to this deadly disease. We need personal protective equipment now. An already very stressful time for NHS staff is being made worse by inadequate protection. Without it they risk becoming unwell and who will then be left to look after the rest of us, look after our loved ones and those we care about. I'm a final year medical student about to start working early in the NHS. My parents ask me, will you be safe? Will you have proper PPE? I don't know. Doctors are dying. Nurses are dying. Just last week, I lost one of my own colleagues to COVID-19. I can't tell you what that feels like. It's the duty of government and employers to protect their staff and they are clearly failing. We do not want to see any more of our co-workers dying because they didn't have the right PPE. It's real, it's happening and it's costing lives. It's time for the government to act and save the lives of those that we clap for every single Thursday. A couple of days ago um, the health secretary, the biggest contribution he gave to the NHS that are crying out for PPEs which is just, uh, was it protective equipment, was a badge. And people are saying, a badge? What on earth are we going to do with a badge? You can't go for war 
and then land with no guns and equipment and just show them your badge. We've come here to fight, but you know, we've got a badge that says gun. It's that absolute nonsense, mate. You need a gun. So same with these guys, they need protective equipment. And what happened ironically yesterday, which was I think uh, a few hours before the broadcast onto the Houses of Parliament, uh, eight o'clock, there was a big clap. Yeah, everyone was clapping for, for the NHS. Yeah, very nice, lovely jubbly. Uh, have a look at what was going on on Westminster Bridge. Here we are sitting at home, locking ourselves down, you know, counting the times that we are going out and covering our mouth and social distancing. And look at these people standing on the bridge and there's the police as well. It's an absolute ludicrous, man. Absolute joke. If you're young and you're watching, or, or even if you're older and you're watching, because these guys, they're, they're not exactly the most youngest of people, they're middle-aged men. Yeah, so there are creative ways of expressing your grievances. But I think we should take inspiration from these guys. And yeah, it was, I, th I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, because nowadays people just keep their opinions inside their homes, inside the mosques and, you know, just preaching to the preached. But getting out there and you'd be surprised there are many people that may think like you. All right, guys, let me leave it there. I'll see you guys next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.